In this video, we're going to take a look at the SAPE.SO website and we're going to see how we can improve the design of our website. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. So please subscribe to my channel if you want more content like that. So uh, this is a quite new website. Uh, it has currently over 4,300 icons and uh, illustrators and animated icons and animated illustrator illustrators. And at this time you can buy this lifetime deal for 60 bucks. Now when I bought it, it was about four months ago, I think they had a little more than 2000 icons and they were selling the lifetime deal at 50 bucks and the price went up of course since they have uh, more to offer and of, I think they will uh, bring more things and of course they will raise the price again. Uh, they have some free icons uh, which are limited and some free illustrator, illustrations but if you want the moving icons and illustrations you have to buy the pro version. So first let's go to the uh, updates and we're going to see that since uh, the date that they started uh, it was uh, not the July but pretty close to July I think I bought it on August and as you can see here they have the user interface and everything else and then they brought 100 icons more then they added some icons customizable icons and animated icons and some more in October then we have 24th October with 1400 new icons then 27th of November they added some more then they added on December then they added in January and then they added on February so they constantly adding every month they putting things into the library let's go into the app and we're going to see a little bit how the app is working so first you're going to see the icons we have here a dark theme and we can change to uh, a white theme if we want and let's go and see first of all the icons here you have you can search and here are the alpha alpha bet and number icons and here is the list okay and here from here you can change the primary color as you can see here is white and I can change the primary call to what I want and I will see immediately all the icons and what I'm going to choose. So let's go for all categories here. Okay, waiting a little bit so it refresh and now we can see all the icons here. So we have uh, 3,333 icons at the moment and they have separating categories. Some of the icons may have a secondary color, so you can choose here a styling for the secondary color, and you will know which color has a secondary color, which icon has a secondary color, okay? And there are many icons that you can choose. You can choose the watch that says here, and then you can download it as an SVG icon, and PNG, PDF, that's all. Okay, now let's see the next which is the animated icons and here you will see some icons that have uh, uh, primary and secondary colors. I think most of those have two colors and when you click an icon you will see at the right here uh, we, what is the animation. So if I go for this it's a volume up yeah, volume. It seems like a volume up, and it does that. This is a, J, a JSON file. We will see how we can import that to a WordPress installation. So there are about 154 animated icons at this time. Not about. They are exactly that, and they constantly adding more. After that, we have the illustration, illustration, which again. Uh, you can save some SVG and I think PNG, yeah, and PDF. And you can see the illustration that they have here. Three, 33 illustration at the moment as playful, but if I go to all, we will see 
1076. I like that when I hover I can see the name so if I see something that I like I can write it down and then find what I'm looking for and then search for what I have seen already in the search area here. This is something that I constantly saying to Breezy that they have to add uh, the names when you hover the icons but no. Okay so uh, as you can see here they have great SVGs uh, sorry not SVGs, illustrations and then we have the animated illustrations let's go and see how many of those so at this moment we have now it didn't change so 111 and if I click somewhere let's go and click here uh, I can see the hand of the man that is moving let's go for a shopping phone this is how it looks let's go for something else Okay, you can see how it's uh, animated. Okay, so we're going to download something like that. And we're going to click here that says download. And then we're going to save the file. And this is called online by products. I'm going to save that. And let's download something else. Let's go for something like that, a laptop. No, it hasn't. it doesn't have much of a movement, but this is is looking nice so i'm going to download that also phone 3 animation okay and of course you can change the primary secondary color from here and put something like that now be sure to check first the colors so when you download it you have the colors uh, configured because you're not you're not going to be able to change them in t uh, from your wordpress so first choose something if you're going for a white you have to remember that it needs a dark uh, background for it to work okay so uh, let's go and also download an animated icon let's go for something like that okay this is looking good okay i'm going to download that save it here this one no some arrows yeah, something like that. I'm going to download that again, save this file, and save it. So, let's go to the WordPress installation, and we're going to install the WP Body Moving plugin. Uh, this is the plugin that we're going to use. I'm going to hit Activate, and this will create the animations uh, that we have in here. Now, uh, in this website, I'm using the Oxygen Website Builder, but it doesn't matter which uh, builder you are using. Uh, as as uh, it, it's okay if you can uh, add short code to your page, then you can use this plugin. So we're going to add a new animation, and every animation is a different icon or illustrator that you have downloaded. Let's go and add here. This is the arrow. And I'm going here into the browse, which says JSON data file. I'm going to browse for the arrow. And which one is the arrow? This is the arrow. Okay. And now I'm going to hit save, publish. Not save, publish. Okay. Then we have the add new. And I'm going to add the phone. I don't remember what I have downloaded, so let's go in browse and I have a phone here. I have also an online buy, which I'm going to select next. So let's hit publish, then I'm going to add new. I'm going to select online and I'm going to select the file. Okay, what else do we have here? The work, the power, okay, we have the power icon. So let's open that and hit publish and let's also select power. Okay, browse, select the power icon, open and publish. Now we have four animations inside here and whenever we choose to, to use one, we simply have to go inside power here you will see the animation it doesn't loop you have to select here to play and it will just play what you want and here 
down you have the short code that you are going to use. Now I'm going to select to loop the animation so it will add a loop uh, equals true and also I'm going to select to auto play when in viewport and auto stop when out of viewport so it will not uh, play all the time. It will not load the page with uh, anything. Also here you can choose the elements width and the minimum height and the alignment as you can see here. You can select anything that you want. Keep in mind that those settings are not saved so uh, you are checking those, copy the short code and you are good to go. If you hit save it will reload without those settings. These are just for the generator at this moment. So uh, I'm going to copy all of those and of course this uh, has a white background so if you have chosen a white icon you cannot see the preview. Don't be alarmed, uh, do not uh, go and check what, why is not working. If you select a white icon you cannot see the preview here. So let's copy again just to be sure. Okay and now I can go to my page. Here again is the Oxygen website builder. It doesn't matter which builder you have. So I'm going to add here a section. Okay and I'm going to add a section. Here I have the section. I added two sections because this is uh, it has a negative margin so it goes a little bit up so that's why I added two sections here. So here I'm going to add a short code okay and I'm going to paste the short code that I copied. Uh, I can't see anything here but it doesn't matter. Let's go and save that and let's refresh the front page. And here as you can see this is the animated icon. It will loop, always loop, so you can see how it looks. Let's go and grab the next one. So let's go to animations, let's go to the phone which is an illustration and let's go to loop, auto play, auto stop and of course as I have said you can uh, select to uh, the pixels that you want, the width. Okay, maybe it's way too big for this website but I'm not going to change the width at this moment. So let's copy that. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to select again and paste. I'm going to save it and refresh how it looks in the front end. And as you can see here is how it looks. It should loop uh, itself. Yeah, it's going away and it's coming again. So I think this is something that it will catch the eye of the visitor. It's a unique thing that you can have. Of course you can build it with an uh, MP4 but uh, the JSON file is way lighter and of course I think that the shape does, uh, does uh, what it says that it will do. It constantly adding into the library. It's only 60 bucks lifetime deal and you will get all these icons at that they have at this moment and all the future icons and whatever they will add. The team behind this uh, website, I can't remember the name but let's go and see. Uh, I think they are somewhere in the bottom. Okay, Love by uh, Design Code. This is a website that is uh, offering uh, tutorials on how to create uh, plugins and uh, sorry how to play, to create icons so I think that they know what they're doing they're creating great stuff and I think that 60 bucks are nothing uh, and you can add anything that you want inside here so that's all for this video uh, in this moment thanks for watching guys sorry for any mistakes that I did English is not my first language and since I haven't created some videos for a little while I think I have forgotten how to speak. So, thanks again guys. Uh, be sure to check uh, to subscribe to my channel for more videos like that and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.